Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I'm going to be answering a question that I get asked often and it is where should I move to in Germany or where is a good location in Germany to move to? Now as all of y'all or hopefully most of y'all know, I live in Bavaria, Bayern, the Sama Mia, but <laughs> there are other locations in Germany that are just as nice, just as beautiful and might be a better option for you depending on your expectations and abilities. So I'm going to be introducing you guys to Baden-Württemberg, which if we're looking at the map and we know that my map reading skills are whole rule you guys it's going to be my neighbor to the left which I'm hoping this is the left because it's technically my right but I know in the video it's gonna come off on the other side depending on where you're at in the world depending on how you're looking at the map and your perspective it might be different but it's over there for me and Baden-Württemberg has a lot of key features and parts of German culture nestled and hidden in its Bundesland it has Mercedes-Benz it has Porsche it has Heidelberg it has Schloss Liechtenstein. It has the Black Forest, it has promising startup opportunities and amazing job opportunities for skilled expats. Combine this all with a wonderful livable and future-oriented environment, Baden-Württemberg is probably an ideal location for your personal future if you are thinking of making Germany your home. And so in today's video I'm going to be reacting to the international campaign that the federal state of Baden-Württemberg has put out called The Land that has the aim of repositioning the state into a more attractive place for highly educated expats. And so with all that being said, let's get right into the video. Let's get right into this reaction, you guys, and let's get started. I have to get my computer though, because I don't, <laughs> I don't have it. I'm saying let's go y'all and I'm not ready for this. This is Baden-Württemberg. Beautiful landscapes, wonderful castles, many <laughs> lakes too, a small ship, a vineyard, a forest, a Fachwerkhaus, and the <laughs> Rheinfall, which actually is in Switzerland. Baden-Württemberg welcomes you to explore our land. <laughs> what an epic masterpiece. Game changer. This is the best movie I've ever made. I'm a genius. Client clearly loves it. He smiles. Why doesn't he smile? Okay. Whatever he says, I will fight for every single frame. Come on, Mark. The first thing I do have to point out is that it is very true that the landscape is beautiful, you guys. In Baden-Württemberg, every time that Mike and I drive there, we're always saying, wow, it's so beautiful here. It's so wonderful here every single time. That's one of our other favorite Bundesländer here in Germany. But I also wanted to point out that the juxtaposition or the contrasting um, difference here between the very serious, that's what I think this web series is poking fun at, is this very stereotypical serious um, German professional and then you have the creative on the other end that is maybe a little eccentric wearing a very interesting shirt. <laughs> um, it's trying to also show I guess the different sides of Germany because a lot of people have this particular view that Germany is maybe how the man in the suit is and this is showing that y you can come as you are and we're not like this anymore. <clears throat> so what do we think? Yeah, we see here wunderbare Landschaftsbilder, aber um, wir wollen ja keine Touristen anlocken, sondern wir wollen Fachkräfte anlocken. Herr Lederle, dürfte ich Sie kurz ah, unterbrechen? Mr. Lederle, see, that's his, 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 uh, is that his real name? Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, thinking about that, maybe they did that on purpose. Maybe his name isn't really like Leda, and they're just making it Leda because he's very structured. And so when you add the L-E to the end, it's not as structured. I'm coming. Haley's analysis is here. Uh, I'm probably wrong, you guys, and I'm putting a little bit too much thought into this. But Native. Yeah, we, we, we didn't expect you to, to love it. Of course, this is just the first sketch, you know, the first uh, thing we can put more information in, like important information, like uh, wh wh whatever you think is actually important. We need to convince the people from India or the UK to come to Baden-Württemberg, yeah? yeah? And not to go to the Silicon Valley. To go to the cyber web. Now there are a few things that I wanted to point out regarding this clip, but the main thing I wanted to say was that it is so important, or I'm happy that they addressed how important it is for highly skilled, educated expats to be living, working, and contributing to their community, society, um, and economic growth. A lot of times, this isn't um, a huge talking point. It's not something that is mentioned often, but they made that within the first 
a minute or two of this series and I think that is chef's kiss. And the next thing I wanted to point out was that they used the UK and India to show or to reference and list educated expats because a lot of times people tend to only use like the UK, other European countries, the United States, and we tend to forget that places like India are humongous gold mines for educated expats or highly skilled workers. And so that I also think is very important. So hey, another chef's kiss. And also Silicon Valley, you guys, who, at Cyber Valley, you got better workers conditions, you got better workers rights, you get amazing holiday vacation. When you're in Silicon Valley, you can't even take a vacation. In Germany, you'll be forced to take a vacation because you won't know what to do with all of those vacation days. You got parental time off, parental leave if you're looking for that. And so wrap all of that up in a big, wonderful bow. Your benefits package here in Germany, in Baden-Württemberg more specifically, um, is amazing. We have to show it like big, but also small at the same time. Yes, we need to get into the future. We have to have a look into the future. I love that. I love that energy. Bigger, but smaller, smaller, but bigger future Baden-Württemberg. That's it. And I think we have the right person here in the room. It's actually Björn from Copenhagen. He's an art director, really super creative. Der ist ja gar nicht aus Baden-Württemberg. You are not either. Ja, aber ich wäre so gerne aus Baden-Württemberg. I mean, I can do it. I, I can do this movie myself. And this is going to be the best <laughs> image film Baden-Württemberg has ever seen. Because this is going to be a new chapter in filmmaking. A glorious commercial with tons of ideas. We show Baden-Württemberg as a big player, Björn, Baden-Württemberg. We <laughs> are going to make the best commercial spot for Baden-Württemberg for the world, for the Fachkräfte. Let's boil the ocean. The Fachkräfte, oh let's boil the ocean. German humor is so underrated. I don't think that people will get the joke for me that's hilarious. But I wanted to say that this man sort of reminds me of myself when she says, you're not even from here, from bottom foot big. He's like, but I would love to be. That's so me with Germany, you guys. When they're like, you're not even from Germany. You don't even go here. And I'm like, but I wish I did. <laughs> That's so me. They promised me the help of two, two very super good filmmakers. Wait a second. Oh, Lord. These two guys. Who's Mark? Mark, genau. Und du? Piggy, hi. Ich mach Ton. Hi. Come over. Freu mich. Hi, geil. Hallo, Mark. Ja, drehen wir einen coolen Imagefilm, oder? Schon Bock? <laughs> ja, geil. Ey, ich mag das Bild. Lass uns direkt loslegen, okay? This is such a German thing, you guys, like asking for your qualifications and everything that you've done. What What is your experience? What is your education? This is something very German, it, but they did it in a very funny t manner, but this will happen to you in real life. Ah, oh. that's scheiße for this thing, yeah. Okay. So in the art, schau mal. So stell ich mir das für unseren Film vor. Of excellence and innovation. In buzzing international mega cities, teams of highly skilled professionals work for a better future. The next gen of high technology. Baba, this is your guy at Wittenberg. Sind wir ins Bunde? Oh no, this Stoko film nerd will not destroy my film. I won't let this happen. We need robots here, yeah, like those guys from Food Court Robotics. I mean, everybody loves movies with robots. They destroy stuff and blow up stuff and... Oh, wait a second. These robots look like they actually build things. We are the film team. Hi, herzlich willkommen. Hi, schön, ich bin der Marc. Ich bin der Benny. hi. Hi, Benny, voll cool hier. Hi. Hi, we are the film team. Cool, eh? This is interesting. So this, I think, is probably a real robot, like... I don't know the technical word for it, but this is probably a company or a startup in Baden-Württemberg. Oh, they're doing a very good job. This is actually very cute. And they're showing stuff that's available and thriving in Baden-Württemberg. Oh, Tatsächlich my. nicht. Das war von Manneskraft. Ja? Ja. Manneskraft ist auch so cool auch irgendwie, finde ich. Benjamin, tell us, who's the brain behind all this? So let's go to our technology expert. Here Hello. I am. 
Hi, I'm Mr. Brain. I'm Mark. Hi, I'm Manu. Und was ist an diesem Horstmodell so besonders? Das Besondere ist die Viergelenkkette, die tatsächlich uns es hilft, den Roboter viel günstiger zu produzieren. Und äh, mit dieser Produktionstechnologie, die wir darauf aufbauend haben, nämlich Plattenbauteile, schaffen wir gesamtheitlich einen Roboter zu bauen, der einerseits in der Getriebetechnologie Kostenvorteile bringt, aber auch andererseits in der Struktur, wie wir den ganzen Roboter aufbauen. So, if you understand any of this, if this is your cup of tea, if this gets you excited, then you know that there is a niche for you in Baden-Württemberg. There is a, a community available for you in Baden-Württemberg. Because for me, I have no idea what they're saying. They're not even speaking German to me, you guys. They're speaking a foreign language. They could be aliens from another planet coming to Earth trying to communicate with me, and I had no idea. But I do have to say, when they start talking about mechanics and technology like this in the German language, I, I do have to say it sounds a little sexy. Mm. Upwards, to the side. This feels so easy. I thought you need to program or anything, but this is just a push of a button. Oh, oh, okay. That's actually not that bad. It looks a little bit like the hobby room from Iron Man. And the robots are very easy to build, like an IKEA chef. Doesn't matter if you want to seize world domination or bake an apple cake with your granny. Uh, guys, that's a pair. Whatever, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> Shout out to everybody abroad. You're very welcome at Baden-Württemberg, in particular at Food Course. So we um, give you a warm welcome when you come to us. And we're looking for great people who are interested in robotics and uh, to learn and to grow. Oh my, this is such a... First and foremost, this is showing a very nice, like, humorful... Humorful is not an American, like an English word, is it a humorous like side of Germany that I feel is not really shown, especially in the English language. And so it's nice to see, granted you are, that there is German sprinkled in here, but they have English subtitles. So you're able to understand, you're able to listen and see. So there's a lot of humor sprinkled in. And I think that shows a different side of Germany, which I love. I always talk about this. I think Germany and Germans are hilarious. I just think sometimes they get the um, crap end of the stick because of maybe the language and just how they've been portrayed in the past that they can't be funny or even welcoming. That's another thing I wanted to point out is that a lot of people in this video have been very welcoming. This girl in particular, she's saying, please come. And I think she is a great representation of the future of Germany and the younger generation, the younger working generation of Germany. And so, so sweet. Horst, highly optimized robotic system technology. And those guys, they are so nice. Really I'm, 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 I'm really thinking funny. about starting to work here as well. But hey, no, come on, I'm, I'm a director <laughs> and I have too. to make a brilliant movie and everything. And okay, we don't I have any explosions so far, but maybe we can find something else. We need to sell the movie. We have to make it more and more Hollywood blockbuster style. One question, can, can you program them so they can make a dance move like it's good for the, for the movie? What style of dancing? I wonder how much these robots cost to be dancing. Yeah, we are on. Hi, Mark. Hey, du, da hast du dich ein bisschen weiter zum Fenster gelehnt. Masterpiece. Wenn das nichts wird, dann reiß ich oh. dir persönlich den Kopf ab, okay? <laughs> And so as you can see, there are more episodes available. I believe there are five on the Land YouTube page. So if you want to see what happens in the web series, if you want to see what the final product is, I would recommend checking out the video, um, the YouTube page, the web series in general down below. I will link it down below in the description box. I will link it in the eye, wherever the eye is. And I will also put a video here so you guys can click it and watch episode two. And so with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to The LAN for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and bye.